Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over question number two from the stoichiometry and limiting reactants unit. Question number two asks, when you react 10 grams of aluminum with 12 grams of oxygen, which is the limiting reagent or reactant and which is the excess reagent? So when you're asked for a limiting reagent, also known as reactant, what you can do is start with the respective starting amounts of each reagent. So 10 grams of aluminum versus 12 grams of O2. And you can use stoichiometry to see how much product each reactant could make if the other was not a factor at all. So starting with our 10 grams of aluminum. First, we convert to moles so that we can use the ratio in the chemical equation. So first we can convert to moles by dividing by the molar mass, which I have listed here. It's 26.98 grams per mole. Then we want to get two moles of product from moles of aluminum. And we can see that that occurs in a two to four ratio based on our coefficients from our chemical equation. And so when we multiply this out, we can see that if we started with 10 grams of aluminum and we had unlimited amounts of oxygen, we would end up forming 0 0.185 moles of aluminum two oxide. Now let's follow the same process with the other reagent, our diatomic oxygen. So we start with 12 grams of oxygen gas, we convert it to moles, and remember that in order to get the molar mass of diatomic oxygen, you need to take the normal molar mass and multiply it by 2, so we'll actually be using 32 grams per mole. We'll take the ratio from the chemical formula or chemical equation, which is 2 moles of Al2O3 to 3 moles of oxygen gas. And when we multiply this out, we see that we could form 0 0.25 moles of aluminum 2 oxide. And so comparing these two theoretical amounts, we see that if we started with the 12 grams of oxygen and there was unlimited amounts of aluminum, we could form more product versus with the 10 grams of aluminum, if we had unlimited amounts of oxygen, we could still only form 0.185 moles of aluminum, which means that the amount of aluminum that we started with is limiting the amount of product that we could form. So our 10 grams of aluminum would be the limiting reactant. Because if we had more aluminum, we could form more, but it doesn't matter how much more oxygen we add. If we only have 10 grams of aluminum, we can only make 0.185 moles. And the reagent we have in excess is our oxygen. Because the 12 grams of oxygen, if it had enough aluminum to react with, it could form up to 0.25 moles, but we didn't form 0.25 moles. Because of the amount of aluminum we had, we could only form 0.185 moles. So really, we have leftover oxygen that wasn't able to react, and so we call it the excess reagent or reactant. 